At the November 2024 Zhuhai Air Show, China publicly displayed the Z-9 Anf anti-submarine helicopter, generating widespread attention and discussion. For many who have followed the development of China's naval aviation, the appearance of the Z-9F seemed somewhat puzzling. After all, why would China continue to develop the Z-9F when it has already begun small-scale production of the more advanced Z-20 FASW helicopter? To understand this phenomenon, we need to start with the development of the Chinese Navy's anti-submarine helicopters. Looking back at history, until the 1980s and 1990s, the Chinese Navy had never been able to establish a perfect ASW helicopter system. At that time, the limited strength of China's aviation industry made it difficult to independently design and manufacture advanced helicopters. For a long time, the Chinese Navy relied on the Z-5 series of helicopters, which were modeled on the Soviet Mi-4 helicopter. However, the Z-5 platform was old, and its performance was limited, making it difficult to meet the demands of modern anti-submarine warfare. In the 1980s, China entered a brief honeymoon period with Europe and the United States, which provided a valuable opportunity for China to gain access to advanced Western technology and equipment. In the field of helicopters, China imported the S-70 Black Hawk and CH-46 Chinook from the United States, as well as the Gazelle from France, Dolphin and Super Hornet from France. These imported helicopters played a vital role in China's subsequent defense modernization. Based on the French Dolphin helicopter, China carried out comprehensive copying and improvement work, and finally launched the domestically produced Z-9 series helicopters. At the same time, China also developed the Z-8 series of medium transport helicopters based on the French Super Wasp helicopters. In recent years, the Z-8 series helicopter has been continuously improved, and new models such as the Z-8G and Z-8L have been launched, while the Z-9 series helicopters are also under constant development and have been derived from various versions such as the armed version, the special warfare version, and the search and rescue version. In order to meet the needs of the Navy's mobile anti-submarine warfare, China has further developed the Z-9C and Z-9D anti-submarine helicopters on the basis of the basic Z-9 model. However, the Z-9 series of helicopters is a four-ton platform on which the development of ASW helicopters has many limitations. The Z-9C, DISW helicopters have a limited mounting capacity, and in actual ASW operations, it is usually necessary for one helicopter to mount a SW equipment, and the other to mount a SW torpedoes, and the two work together. This limitation is not unique to China, the French Navy is also facing similar problems. Based on the Dolphin helicopter, France has developed the Panther series of anti-submarine helicopters. However, in the French Navy, the Panther SW helicopters mainly undertake auxiliary anti-submarine tasks, while the main anti-submarine helicopters are more than 20 NH-90 anti-submarine helicopters. The NH-90 belongs to the European Joint Development of 10-ton general-purpose helicopters. The concept and positioning of its in the U.S. A-60 Black Hawk series of general-purpose helicopters. The concept and positioning of the NH-90 is similar to that of the U.S. A-60 Black Hawk series of utility helicopters. The U.S. developed the SH-60 series of ASW helicopters on the basis of the A-60, while European countries have also developed different versions of ASW and AWACS on the basis of the NH-90. Entering the 21st century, the level of China's helicopter industry has continued to improve in 2017. The domestically produced 10-ton class utility helicopter Z-20 was finally finalized, marking the fact that China finally possesses a model in the field of 10-ton class utility helicopters that is comparable to the US A-60 and the European and H-90. After entering the 2020s, the Z-20 family continued to grow, and several versions were developed, such as the Air Assault, Plateau, Special Warfare, and Fire Support versions. Based on the Z-20, China has also developed the Z-20F anti-submarine helicopter, which roughly matches the U.S. Navy's SH-60 or later batches of the MH-60 in terms of overall performance. However, as of 2025, the number of Z-20 FASW helicopters equipped by the Navy is still very limited, and in the small batch stage, there are two main reasons for this. Firstly, there is a high demand for Z-20S, besides the Navy, the Air Force, the Army and the Rocket Force all need to be equipped with a certain number of Z-20S, and the Armed Police Force, 
and the public security departments of some provinces and cities also have a demand for Z20S. However, the annual production of Z20 is limited, resulting in a situation where demand exceeds supply. Even within the Navy, Z20S need to be distributed among various departments. Secondly, it is versatile and highly competitive. The Marine Corps needs to equip the Z20J to further develop its air assault capability. As a result, the number of Z20Fs that can ultimately be used for development is very limited. Preliminary estimates indicate that the Navy's demand for Z20Fs for various surface ships amounts to at least 100, a number that will be difficult to satisfy in a short period of time. Against this background, China has further developed the fully upgraded Z9 FASW helicopter based on the Z9C and Z9D. In November 2024, the Z9F was publicly unveiled. At this stage, the Z9F has two main missions. The first is to make up for the shortage of Z20Fs. The Z9F is a replacement solution to hold up the Chinese Navy's mobile ASW operations in the event of a shortage of Z20Fs. The second mission is to replace the old models with the gradual retirement of the Russian-made Ka-28 and early batches of Z9C, the Z9F will take over these old models and continue to undertake ASW missions. The emergence of the Z9F ASW helicopter marks the further improvement of the Chinese Navy's ASW helicopter system. As an ASW helicopter developed by China in the 2020s, the Z9F will not be retired with the gradual popularization of the Z20F. On the contrary, it is expected that the Z20F and Z9F will work together in the future, similar to the French Navy's in H-90 and Panther SW models. At the same time, as the Z20F continues to be equipped, the Z9C and Russian-made Ka-28 models may be gradually retired. As for the Z9D, it is expected to be upgraded in the mid-term to continue in service with reference to the Z9F standard. Regrets and future prospects of the Z15 series. Finally, one regrettable fact that has to be mentioned is the Z-15 series helicopters. As a 7-ton helicopter, the Z-15, if further developed in an anti-submarine version, such as the Z-15F, would form a more efficient and cost-effective match with the Z-20F. However, the Z-15 is a Sino-French jointly developed helicopter, and China has not been able to fully localize it. Therefore, in a short period of time, the Z-15 can only be put into the civilian field, not military. It is a pity that the Z-15 series has a good platform base, but has not been able to achieve militarization. If China can achieve full localization of the Z-15 in the future and develop it into an anti-submarine version, it will provide more diversified choices for the Chinese Navy's anti-submarine helicopter system. To sum up, the development of the Chinese Navy's SW helicopters has gone through a long process from imitation to independent research and development, and the emergence of the Z9 FASW helicopter is based on the current Chinese Navy's dual demand for SW helicopters in terms of quantity and performance. Together with the Z20 FASW helicopter, they form the backbone of the Chinese Navy's SW operations. In the future, with the continuous development of China's helicopter industry, as well as the development and equipping of more new models, the Chinese Navy's anti-submarine helicopter system will be more complete, providing stronger support for the maintenance of China's maritime rights and interests in maritime security.